Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, and today I am talking about my experience using waterproof socks as hiking socks on the Appalachian Trail. On my 2022 through hike of the Appalachian Trail, I wore these as hiking socks. They are the Deck Shell Cool Vent waterproof socks. They are mid calf length socks that have a waterproof membrane woven between two synthetic layers. They're very, very thick, heavy duty socks, and they did me really, really well on the Appalachian Trail as hiking socks. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons of using waterproof socks on the Appalachian Trail. But firstly, why would I use waterproof socks on a hiking trail? Well, the Appalachian Trail has a lot of rain and there's also a lot of mud. So instead of my feet getting soaked, I decided to use waterproof socks to keep my feet dry. When I was preparing for my AT through hike, it seemed sensible to me to try and keep my feet dry inside wet shoes by using waterproof socks, and that would help prevent trench foot. So the following are some considerations based on my experience using waterproof socks on the trail. So when you're walking along through rainstorms and puddles, you might be confident that your feet are going to remain dry, but these socks aren't like putting a bread bag over your feet. The water doesn't run off. It still soaks into the upper layer of the sock, meaning your feet aren't wet, but they still feel cold and they still feel as though they're wet because you can feel that water on the upper layer. Personally I found that when water sunk into the upper layer of the sock it stopped all of the sweat and vapor from my feet evaporating out of the sock essentially keeping my feet inside a wet sock. After a short while of hiking in the socks every single day water seemed to seep in anyway and they didn't maintain their waterproofness. Now I tested this by actually filling up the sock like a balloon full of water and there was no water seeping out so I'm not quite sure why the water seemed to seep in during rainstorms. Maybe from walking 20 miles a day for weeks and weeks on end that wore a small hole in the membrane but I didn't seem to see any water seeping out of the sock when I filled it full of water. Something to consider about waterproof socks is they take ages to dry. I found that I had to air them both inside out and the right way round to get both sides dry. Even when I put my clothing in the tumble dryer they still took longer than everything else to get dry. As I mentioned before the upper layer of the cool vent socks seemed to hold on to water and this made the socks extremely heavy. Another thing to consider about waterproof hiking socks is that they only go up your calf to a certain length. So when you're wading through rivers, anything that's deeper than about 12 inches is going to seep over the top of the sock and get your feet soaked. But the one thing that I will say about these socks that is a fantastic positive is that they were so durable. They lasted over 1200 miles before I saw the first signs of a hole in them. So I cannot fault the durability of these socks. So if I was planning another AT through hike, would I use waterproof socks again? I would have to say I wouldn't. As I mentioned, when you're wading through rivers, the water's going to get in through the top and they're going to take ages to dry. If it rains a lot, the water seemed to still get into the sock and they took so long to dry that I found it an inconvenience. But that was just my experience using waterproof socks on the Appalachian Trail. If you're adamant that you're going to use a set on your through hike or you've used them in the past and had a different experience to me, then leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please consider subscribing and share this video to anyone that you know that likes camping, hiking or adventure travel. And for now, that's it from me. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.